All right. Thank you, Dr. Sweetser, for that very great introduction. Hi, everyone. As she just said, my name is Christine Whitman, and I am the team lead for San Diego Humane Society's Grow Together campaign. Did you know 45,000 animals enter the San Diego sheltering system every year? Out of those 45,000 animals, San Diego Humane Society is responsible for 40% of these homeless pets, a value equivalent to 18,000 animals. That's a lot, right? San Diego Humane Society does so much, as Dr. Sweetser said, for just the entire community. But sometimes it's about more than just the whole community. This campaign focuses on one portion of those homeless pets, and those are animals with special needs, the ones that might not get adopted right away. Within San Diego Humane Society, the average animal is adopted within 45 days. 45 days, and those animals leave the Humane Society, tails wagging, ready to grow with their new adopted family. But like I said, that doesn't sometimes work for all animals, which brings us to the Special Pets for Special Pro People program, which is the main focus of our entire campaign. Now, the animals within the Special Pets for Special People program are animals that have a mental, physical, or maybe an emotional challenge that they need an extra set of hands, an extra a doctor to help them grow. Now, alongside San Diego Humane Society and alongside the Special Pets for Special People program is Hidden Gems. And they're somewhat similar, but a little bit different than Special Pets. Hidden Gems are companion animals that like more quiet environments and sometimes go outside of the shelter walls with, um, trying to think of the word. So it's sort of like an adopter, but they end up getting adopted by another family. Um, throughout the campaign, we noticed that one of the main reasons that San Diego Humane Society does what they do is they believe that no animal has an expiration date, that every animal will continue to grow when given the chance. That belief is where our campaign truly begins. Hi, my name is Katie, and I'm going to be presenting you with your SWOT analysis. I'm going to start with the weaknesses. These include that there are no monetary profits, a lack of cohesive branding for special pets, and a lack of internal communication, and a failure to update the website on a regular basis. Now next is threats. These, unlike opportunities, are external factors. These include competition, the fact that you're dependent on donations, special pets may be overlooked, and there may be a negative perception of shelter animals. On a more positive note, we have your strengths. These include your partnerships, your media partnerships, the magazine that you manage, and you have three large shelters in Escondido, <coughs> Oceanside, and Gaines Street. And your opportunities are extra, like strengths, but external factors are your public and private donors, your positive reputation, the strong social media following that you have, and your sponsorships. <laughs> Good evening, I'm Shana. Um, so before we began our campaign, we wanted to assess public opinion and knowledge of the San Diego Humane Society, as well as, as its uh, two special pets program, both Special Pets for Special People and the Hidden Gems program. So we conducted 250 oral surveys, 200 in San Diego and 50 in Poway, as well as a content analysis on 101 pieces of media content, uh, both relating directly to the San Diego Humane Society and to similar organizations. From the oral surveys, we found that while overall support for animal adoptions in general was relatively high, only 11% of participants were actually said that they were very familiar with the San Diego Humane Society, and only 4% said that they'd be willing to adopt a special needs shelter pet. Additionally, the content analysis that we did show that at no point was the San Diego Humane Society mentioned in conjunction with either the Special Pets for Special People program or the Hidden Gems program. This means that little to no media content has been given to these programs. <laughs> what we learned from all of this is that while overall public uh, opinion is very supportive of adopting shelter pets, we wanted to focus our campaign on increasing awareness for the San Diego Humane Society in general, as well as overcoming some barriers in regards to the stigma of adopting a special needs shelter pet. So now Vivian's going to explain how the depth interview we conducted helped us find ways to overcome these barriers, as well as helped us uh, curate creative messaging that we used throughout, throughout the campaign. <coughs> Hi, so I'm Vivian. Um, 
So for our free campaign research, we also conducted an in-depth interview with our current adopter of a special needs dog from the Humane Society. Um, the main purpose of the interview was to gain a sharper insight into the Special Pets for Special People program. So based on this 40 minute long interview, um, we, uh, we recognize that a young family would be more willing um, to adopt a special needs dog as um, the participants um, share with us that he uh, would be, he viewed the adoption as being uh, an opportunity to strengthen his personal relationship and to grow his family. Um, another key takeaway that we learned is that the participant did not see his dog as any different from a pet without special needs. And in fact, he um, did not want to label his dog as special needs. So these valuable insights it really helped us in coming up with our <coughs> Grow Together campaign, as well as crafting our campaign message, which we'll share with you um, shortly uh, in a moment. Hi, my name is Amber. So based on the research and in-depth interview, it was time to define our target audience. We decided to go with an audience that is a latent public, whose priorities are growing with an open mind, and who are financially stable. A latent public means that their core values are similar to that of the San Diego Humane Societies. It means that they care about animals, they're looking to grow, and they want to inspire compassion. In addition to these core values, we also wanted to target individuals or couples who are financially stable. Many of the animals, especially in the special needs programs, may not be able to, they have ongoing concerns and medical con concerns that not every family may be able to afford. And it's really important that we get these animals in a home that can provide for all of their needs. So it's crucial that we targeted this audience. In addition, the idea of growing with a family and an open mind. As Vivian presented in the in-depth interview, we wanted the adopters to view adopting a pet as not only bettering their lives, but also the animals, kind of a teamwork of growing together. Um, with that said, it was time to make messages that mattered. Hi, I'm Courtney. Throughout our entire planning process, we kept the core values of the San Diego Humane Society in mind, conveying compassion and being a voice for animals. We decided we not only wanted to focus on the specific campaign, but the perception of adopting shelter animals on a larger scale. Now, the San Diego Humane Society is a well-established organization that's done a fabulous job of getting so many animals adopted over the years. But there's still work that needs to be done. So that's where our goals and objectives came from. Our goals were to open up more homes to accepting shelter pets, reducing the time senior animals are living in the shelter, and creating a stronger branding presence for the Special Pets program. Our objectives were to have at least one pet adopted by April 24th, 2017. Um, when we first met with the client, we learned that, that would be a huge victory to just get one of these pets that we're focusing on adopted. Additionally, we want to improve the positive perception of adopting shelter animals by the San Diego Humane Society by 5% in four months. <coughs> Hi, my name is Alexa. Um, so the Grow Together campaign connected associations of the spring season with the benefits of adopting a dog from the Special Pets for Special People program. We use this theme as a catalyst for our messaging, relaying the idea that by adopting a special needs dog, you're giving them the chance to grow in a loving home, while giving yourself the benefits of growing your heart, family, and home. Now Kara's gonna go into greater detail about the specific messages that we used and why. Hi, I'm Kara, and in the Grow Together campaign, we emphasize two key messages in order to best reach out to potential adopters. The first was a special pet, a special person, and a perfect bond. We use this message in order to illuminate the individuality of each of these pets. They're all unique in their own way, as well as the uniqueness of the person adopting them. It takes a special person to adopt one of these pets. And we also highlighted the special aspect in order to take away the stigma of special needs pets. The second message we used was open minds give special pets a chance, open hearts give them a home. We wanted to speak to those kind of people who would adopt these pets. We want open-hearted, open-minded, compassionate people who see the value in growing their family. So as I mentioned, our overall campaign theme was growing together and we use spring themes like growth and new beginnings. From that, we created three tactics that aimed at uh, making a cohesive brand strategy for the Special Pets program, increasing awareness for that program, as well as the San Diego Humane Society in general, and ultimately our main goal was just to get these pets adopted. 
Hey everybody, so I'm Carolina. Now, for our take-home goodie bags that we provided at the event, um, we created these cards with strategic messaging and attached them to bags filled with dog treats. Now, the great thing about these cards is that they talked about San Diego Humane Society and the Spring into Adoption event, and they had the overall encompassing feel of the animals in San Diego Humane Society, and they also had the um, social media platforms and the website, and the great thing about these is that when we were over at the event, we were able to provide people with the cards and we were talking to them about the event, this wasn't the only time that they were hearing about it. So it was great because when they got home and they had a chance to relax and actually look at the card, they were able to really, um, the material was able to really resonate with them. So they got to know about San Diego Humane Society and the Spring to Adoption. Hi everyone, I'm Dayla. Our first tactic was the Spring into Adoption meet and greet event held at the Unleashed by Petco store in Poway on March 19th. We decided to have this event on March 19th because the first day of spring was March 20th. Having our event near the first day of spring connected to our overarching theme of Grow Together, which includes new beginnings, growing your family, as well as opening your heart and your home, which goes hand in hand with adoption. At this event, we had games, prizes, take-home treats with cards, as well as five adoptable pets, including featured special pet, Frosty. We also used social media promotion and outreach to reach an animal-friendly audience, specifically those interested in adoption. We promoted the event on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. We also used Facebook Live, and we had a featured Snapchat filter during our event. In our social media posts, we utilized hashtags as well as visual content of featured special pets while continuing to emphasize our overarching theme, Grow Together. Hello everyone, I'm Jasmine. So our social media efforts were the driving force behind our overall campaign. The first campaign that we implemented was hashtag not defined by. Hashtag not defined by is aimed towards breaking the stigma that these special pets are hindered by their special need. Our posts contain visual content of photos, of uplifting photos of these special pets to show that they're more than their condition. These posts also contain photos of these pets to show that these pets are more than what their special need defines them as. So, hashtag not defined by also encourages, also encourages users to post their pet and share their story, fostering engagement within the special pet community. <coughs> Hi, my name is Michael, and the next part of our campaign is the Who Will Love Me hashtag. So we implemented this hashtag because in the past, the Humane Society, when they would advertise their special needs for special people program pets, they would end the caption with hashtag special pets. And so from our depth interview, we found out that the word special has a negative stigma to it. So we wanted to dispel this stigma and end it with a rhetorical question instead of a defining term. So the point of this hashtag was also to bring more positivity to the program. Hi, <coughs> As with budget, after sending our client the approved budget, these are the items that the client agreed to buy for our Spring to Adoption meet and greet event. These items include a featured Snapchat filter, cellophane bags, dog treats, Easter grass to decorate the bags, as well as Polaroid film so that people could take home a more personalized item from the event. Our estimated total was under $64. This was specifically because the San Diego Humane Society was able to provide many of the items that we needed for our event. Hi, I'm Michelle, and I'm going to be discussing the evaluation. So after our event, um, we had some amazing increases in numbers. So as far as brand awareness, we had a 13% increase, which is amazing. Following that, also um, program awareness increased 15%. And lastly, those that would be willing to adopt remain stagnant. So the 
week leading up to our Spring Into Adoption event, we took over the San Diego Humane Society's social media, specifically their Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. So on Facebook, <coughs> um, we created a total of three posts, which reached over 32,000 people. Um, as for our Facebook Live during our Spring Into Adoption event, it reached over 9,200 views, as well as 86 engagement. As for Twitter, we created three posts promoting our event, and these reached over 86 impressions and 27 engagements. As for Instagram, we, we posted four photos promoting our, don't, um, promoting our hashtag who will love you campaign as well as our not defined by campaign. And these reached 860 likes and 26 engagements. As for our, the day of our event, we created a Snapchat filter which ran from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. This Snapchat filter racked up over 1,000 um, 1, views, and as well as um, 1,000 views, as well as 42 impressions and 86 engagements. So, based on this campaign and all of the research and planning that went into it, we have three primary recommendations. The first one is the rebrand of special pets. The reason that we wanted to rebrand the Special Pets and make it maybe a little bit more of an inclusive and accepting name is because based on the depth interview, the, uh, the interviewee wasn't too keen on defining his dog as a special needs dog. He thought of his dog as just a regular, regular dog. And so he didn't really like the fact that they called him, that they called the dog special. The second one is to combine Special Pets <coughs> and the Hidden Gems program. Now this reasoning is because um, it was a little bit confusing for, for us and uh, as well as potentially for potential adopters, um, the difference between special pets and hidden gems. Now special pets are animals that may have some sort of mental or physical <coughs> disability that might require additional treatment and medical bills after they get adopted. And hidden gems are animals that don't do so well in the environment of the shelter. And lastly, is to continue the Not Defined by campaign because this just depicts the animals that might that are the special pets in so much a, a better light, and it showcases all that they are, rather all that they are not. So, there was one more piece of the evaluation that we have to mention. This whole campaign is about dogs. Spring into adoption is about special needs animals, but. Throughout this presentation, we have alluded to these special animals, but we don't really know who they are yet. We haven't given faces to the names that are up there. So, the first animal is Frosty. He, you might, you remember him on the first slide. He was kind of our poster child of our campaign. He's six years old, and he spent 111 days at the San Diego Humane Society. He's fun-loving. He actually jumped on our table during the event, which is interesting, <laughs> but... He, although he is defined as a special needs pet, he is not his disability, kind of what not defined is. I'm happy to say that Frosty is one of the pets that was adopted. The next one is Simon. Simon, Simon's a great guy. <laughs> it's true, it's true. Um, Simon was there for more than 165 days at the Humane Society and he was also adopted during the, our campaign period. He was actually adopted twice. Simon, as you notice, um, has a little wheelchair, and he was hit by a car in Oceanside, was brought into San Diego Humane Society, where they took care of him, and then finally now he's growing with his new loving home. We have another pet, and her name is Augustina. Now, Augustina is six years old, and she's a pit bull, and pit bulls kind of have, as you know, sometimes a negative connotation, and that might be one of the reasons that Maybe it took her a little bit longer to get adopted. She was there for more than 350 days. That's almost a year. But when you go to meet her, she doesn't seem like, I don't know, what's the word? I guess mean, as some people say pit bulls are. She's goofy and great and just runs all over the place. And she was adopted as well during our campaign. And there's one more, Lacey. Lacey was the longest term resident there for more than 730 days. That's almost two years. Two years waiting for a forever family, for the chance to go home and to play in its own backyard. And finally, Lacey was also adopted during our campaign period. 
All of these animals were there more than 1,322 days. It's a long time. But you know what the most important part of this is? This campaign was about more than just numbers. It was about a feeling that we could create. A feeling that you get when you help someone. A feeling you get when you adopt an animal. A feeling you get when you look in that animal, uh, animal's eyes that you own. It might be one you have at home. That's the feeling that we want to resonate with Grow Together. That you can go home and grow with your animal. That you can go to San Diego Humane Society and you can grow with a new adoptive animal. Either way, you're growing together. That's it. <laughs>